We've been filming it in the rural part of South Carolina, which is one of the nine southern states that have the most new cases of HIV. And two-thirds of those new cases are among African-American women. It's an old, old cemetery. It's just a lot of family here. We put up with a lot of Tony. Tony was Tony, you know? I let people know this is my daughter, Tony. She's on drugs, she's HIV. It's up to you if you want to deal with her, and it's up to you if you don't want to deal with her. But me, I got a love in spite of. Black women who are 16 to 34, number one killer, AIDS not domestic homicide, not guns, not drugs, AIDS. I found Wilhelmina Dixon and Deshell, two of our main characters in our film, um, during one of my first trips to South Carolina. I came across a magazine article that Deshell had written in, and she'd basically written about her life as a teenager living in rural South Carolina with Hi. HIV. I didn't like my mama because she was missing, and we couldn't find her for about three to six months. I go through a lot. I don't care. Just get it over with. All right, let's get it over with. I'll clean it up. My name is Deshell Dix. I had HIV for 15 years. All my life. My stomach and stuff be hurting. Then I throw up and my legs, they give out on me. So I've been in a lot of pain. Despite the fact that we don't see families like Wilhelmina's every day, they matter and their lives are important and they deserve the same kind of treatment and care that all of us have access to. And I was just trying to be with one person. And I was like, okay, I'm only messing with one person. That person gave me what I got. And I was only with that person for about a month. I done went to the, what you call it, funeral home and paid some of the money for it. I mean, I done did everything. And I got who gonna do the prayer, who gonna do the scripture, and I got who, who gonna do the union. I'm at peace right now. It's been nearly 30 years since uh, a CDC publication first documented five cases of an illness that would come to be known as HIV AIDS. The question is not whether we know what to do, but whether we will do it. And if everybody I had to tell that they were positive had just done those few things, if they've only abstained and waited, if they had used a condom, they'd ask that person, prove to me that your HIV status is negative then they may not have gotten that, 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 that infection that they ended up with. See what I'm saying? Once you're positive, it changes everything, okay? So this is your copy. You can put this with your medical records, and like I said, you should keep this for anybody you're gonna get intimate with. Matter of fact, frame it and set it on the nightstand next to the bed. You know, if they roll across your sheets, they ought to have some paperwork. See what I'm saying? So congratulations, you did a good thing today getting tested. My sister died from the virus in 1996. So I'm compelled to do something, you know, that no one else has to go through what my sister went through. That that type of suffering, the way that she died, uh, in shame and hiding and, and, and fear of people finding out when they're in the battle for their life. It seems like if we can't get people talking about it openly without condemnation, without fear, um, the epidemic will continue and infections will continue to, to rise. If you're trying to be in a relationship and be friends with somebody, you know you're going to be with them for a long time. They should know some things about you and what you've been going through in your life. I told this boy about it and he was like, well, I don't kill. He was like, 
man, no, nah, dog, nah, we can't be friends and we can't talk because if you breathe on me wrong, I might get it. And if you look at me, I might get it. Like, really? You can't get it like that, sorry. I get the sense from Deshelle that she wants to speak out and she wants to be a role model for other young people in South Carolina um, who are living with HIV. But she's afraid because there's so many barriers um, that she has to overcome to get there. I am a black, beautiful girl living in the South with HIV and I'm scared to share it.